Hey YouTube, so my latest order came from Gold, Silver, Dark B over in Belgium. Ordered it over the weekend, Sunday, packed on Monday, shipped, arrived on Wednesday. So brilliant stuff there. I'll probably fast forward the video, so unpackage it all because these guys do package their stuff pretty well. I've got a few things in here, obviously upside down because my details are on the other side. So I'll probably play some music for you. So yeah, there we have it. A few items there, just before I do that. Got something for my birthday. Nothing real special, but just a little handheld magnifying glass. Handy little thing. Sort out the camera and the light and stuff. And I'll get these opened and we'll see what we got. Um, thanks for watching. <laughs> Not really. Be right back at you. So yeah, I am... Um, Broke it down obviously, took it out of the box, wasn't too badly packaged today. So I'll just go through a couple of things. I picked up 21 ounces of silver in total. A few different things to what I normally do, but not many coins are really attracting me bullion wise at the moment and haven't got any Rwandan Luna dogs or 2018 koalas in. A few other coins that I might pick up a couple of that I was doing the series of so first off it wasn't really a coin related thing but um, I decided to had these in and um, it's quite a nice sleeve as well it's basically an empty perfume box Luna series pretty good condition because I have a gilded dragon cereal but it didn't come in a box so I thought for the dragon collection I'll get a nice little box and I'll keep that in there. So I wanted to kind of check a few things out and in my last video I picked up the Queen's Beast, the unicorn of Scotland, yeah. And I basically um, made the mistake of showing it to my youngest daughter. Obviously I've got two daughters um, I've got two daughters showed her the uh, coin and she really likes unicorns. So she was like I want one. So um yeah I had to get her one. So I picked out the unicorn for her. We'll have a look at these in a little bit. Just thought I'd get them out. And seeing as I have two daughters, I can't get one daughter one without getting the other daughter one now, can I? I mean, you know, that wouldn't be fair. So I'm going to thin these up for Christmas. And it's a little bit of silver for them. So that they can look at and enjoy. And might get them into collecting coins. Oldest daughter does have a coin collection. I'll try and get her to do a video on her coins as well at some point because she has got a few more since the last video that I did for her but obviously she wants to do it. So I picked up those but they're going to be gifts. Another thing that I wanted to get a hold of which I really do like this series is the 2017 Congo Gorilla. I'm liking this one as I'm liking them all. Pretty cool little coins. And I do like the background, the field on this one. It looks pretty good. Obviously, you can't show the back because the backs are all the same on all these coins. So I've just picked up one of those for now because I was a bit limited on picking take up and I wanted to get these in before Christmas and make the order up. But 
could have got some more of these but sometimes I do like to get one coin have a good look at it check it out before I make a move on more of these because I do have quite a few for me of the 2015 and slightly less of the 2016 quite a nice series I do like these coins 2015s have started to rise just a little bit now hopefully dealers will start selling out soon yeah and then they could be off something to watch out for so the main purpose of the order was to get this and those who know and know that I like the Coopers and I have been picking one of these up a year and since 2016 and uh, at some point I, I may go back and kind of pick up some of the others but I do see sometime good value in mean, picking up the 10 ounce kookaburra which i'll give you a good look at it after decided to pick this one up which i'll get into that in a little bit and we'll have a closer look at it but yeah i do like to pick up these 10 ounce basically generally when you get it at the right time the lower premium over buying say 10 one ounce Kookaburras. I think this one was about 170 something euros and buying 10 kooks would have been like 180 euros so you don't really lose money on these sometimes they can do well certain years it depends how many they actually sold and stuff you get the design in almost all its glory one coin's enough isn't it I may debate whether to get a roll of the one ounces but it's one of those things I might Try and talk about that a bit more later on, but it's on the capsule or is it on the queen. I think that's on the capsule, but we'll have a look when we get into it. Generally, I try to order as much as I can from these guys at once, but as I said, I don't plan to probably be making another order before Christmas now. I wanted to get hold of these queen beasts for the girls and stuff. As I said, not much was floating my boat. Um, really so I decided I wish it was a full tube but it's not I decided to start to work on a bit of foundation because we all know that I basically collect these sort of numismatic coins to flip and stuff and I didn't really have the budget to start off with to just go all in with the foundation. I'm making the stack kind of work for me a bit. So I've got this uh, mint tube, and you'll probably see now from the Perth Mint. These were the cheapest coins I could get from gold, silver, dot B. Well, you could have got the owl coins or for the same price and I think like mixed years maples to me it don't really matter what they were but I thought you know what I like the Perth Mint stuff and I decided that I would get an empty tube <laughs> but they've kindly left them in the tube so I picked up six Out. Nope. There we go. Picked up six. Picked up six. Twenty seventeen kangaroos. So these were, um, yeah, I think they were about sixteen euros, thirty three or forty four or something like that. Sometimes spot up or whatever, but so do a lot of other coins uk coins and these were cheaper than the britannia by quite a bit or an american eagle so i decided that what i'm going to do is two four six six of them what i'm going to do is i'm going to order sometimes and i've got a few coins to make it up to the amount i have to spend i'm going to fill up on a few of these and fill up this tube i think it fits 25 coins in the tube so it may take me a while to fill it up. Might all not be 2017s, which I think these are all, all 2017s. If they do spot, they spot. We don't really care. 
it's just low grade cheap bullion I would suggest getting Britannia's or whatever if you know you are spending a lot but one tube sort of thing is not gonna kind of make me foul of capital gains tax or anything like that it's only if you're talking you know you buying a monster box or something like that maybe and then you know you're holding on to them for the long term I think these are 41 millimeters where these are like 39 I do see potential in the silver quite nice there the kangaroos they are a cheap bullion coin four nines I do believe for a basic coin they are pretty good milk spots or whatever you get them on three nines or you get them on four nines sometimes it's got nothing to do with the purity of the silver this design doesn't really change every year it stays the same they're not going to rise in any numismatic value like these beast would. If I at some point need to liquidate something quickly or just have something there that other things haven't matured yet. The price of silver has gone up a little bit. I can unload these. As I said I want to try and fill up a tube. I've got another tube. I might try and fill those up with probably Britannia's or something. I just wanted to kind of... When you have a budget, you can get X amount of money that you can spend, and you know nothing was floating my boat. Silver wise, um, I said there are a few coins that I am interested in. They just haven't come out yet, or don't have stock for whatever reasons. Get those in the new year. Sometimes there's no rush with certain bullion coins like the dealer gold silver dot b still have 2016 cucumbers maybe not the 10 out they were mint to order you know they may have some but with the one ounces this is quite common with a lot of the main dealers they buy the bulk of the they buy the bulk of the the 500,000 minted whether that be the big dealers like Atmex they might buy a hundred thousand one ounce coupe or gold silver dot b they might buy 50,000 of them for instance sell a lot on the year of release but then they still have them left over and it's only when their stock starts to get a bit low that then the price starts to creep up a little bit. Once they've sold out at the dealers, then on the secondary market, that's when they start to rise because the dealers don't have them anymore at the lower price. And then because the dealers don't have them, you can't get your hands on them so readily as you could before. So, um, yeah, it's one of those things to watch out for. So I'll get into these a little bit later, to the evening now, so I may get into them tomorrow. But I wanted to unpackage the box I've been seen here all day. Back at you. I can't exactly remember what I shot and what I said last night, so I thought I'd go through a few things again, show you the coins, close out the 21 ounces that I've got here. Six kangaroos. One has a few spots on it so i might try something with this one that i've wanted to try the others not too bad definitely one of the cheapest bullions around europe obviously i do buy mainly coins that have some sort of a face value because you can get them cheaper on the margin scheme but they do it with less vat than say here in the uk or other countries which got to charge 20 percent vat on all silver Somehow they get away with any coin that has a face value of, say, $1. Like this one here, that means that they only charge, say, 7%. So it makes these better buys than, I'd say, generic silver balls or rounds, those sort of things. For an actual bullion coin, they are quite nice, hard to counterfeit. Let's have a look at the kangaroo. So yeah, just your basic bullion coin. As I said, I am trying to work on my foundation and I'm a bit backwards in that where I kind of started buying more semi-numismatic coins first to hold on to and flip over the shorter term. Most silver is not really a short-term investment. It's more of a long-term investment. Picked up these two unicorns of Scotland. 
for my daughters for Christmas. Better than the one I got from the Royal Mint. Still a bit scratched and scuffed on the unicorn side. Only to be expected with these coins. You know, I don't know why they have to change the field during the series. Really, it is this side that matters and it'll be this side that's displayed on my display case when I do put one of these in the display case. I may take one of these and swap it for this one. Looks like a nice example. But, you know, I'd have to have a much closer inspection of the actual coins might be a scratch on that one right there it's like a scratch on that one so three out of three so far with what i'd say not really the perfect coins even buying them direct from the raw mint after they put them into a capsule doesn't guarantee you get a perfect coin either be careful with those ones but as i said i'm just picking up those for my daughters for christmas the Congo Gorilla series, which I am a big fan of, and I do like this one. I'll have to get the others out and show you the actual series. 2017, so this series started in 2015. It comes out like around summer holidays, something like that. It is very late release. Detail on this coin is pretty good. Really am liking it. May pick up a few more of those. And then the 10 ounce pretty good do like it i think it's probably better in this 10 out this coin is better. with any bullion coin you're going to get this all dirty stuff around the rim sometimes but one of those things it's more dust in the minting process this one the kookaburra first time it's four nines and yeah i do like this 10 ounce coin let's have a look at queenie side i did notice maybe there was an issue with the queenie side How about that that's just condensation but it was like here whether it's a bar or something or other there is something on there where it's a little thing from the minting process from the dye or something not too fussed about the queenie side and i said with these coins as well i do buy them for like a lower premium over getting 10 one ounce coins and i do like the design on the other side the queen side doesn't really concern me it may hinder price selling it later on one of those things sometimes I do love the detail on these 10 10 ounce kookaburras they are a hefty coin compared to you know the one ounce i mean you know 10 of these are a lot easier to store now you've only got to sell one coin as opposed to 10 as i said many times before i wouldn't say to buy lots of these to sell them but then how many one ounces do you really want to buy as well they are a good cheap pick up for a coin really a few more euros and maybe something like this per coin but then when you start buying say 10 that's like 20 euros it starts to add on so you could get another ounce of silver but you're not going to make money from these coins straight away really not until they're sold out at the dealers and obviously you know they'll mint this one until the 2019 design comes out as obviously there's no capped mintage on this one like the one ounce which is capped at 500,000 uh, obviously sales of these are a lot less lower than 500,000 sometimes you can get years where the mintages are quite low and then they are worth quite a bit more than some of the years that there's a lot more all in all i do think that moving forward that i will be buying more of this generic bullion trying to fill up tube it holds 25 kangaroos this one do another order and combine your orders and just pay one lot of shipping uh, which i may do at some point but i wanted to get this order obviously to get the the two unicorns for my daughters for Christmas so I've got some capsules for these in the box that I bought because I have been getting them with the screw type capsule from the Royal Mint so thanks for watching like comment subscribe and see you all later